Much of Simmet's wheat breeding activity is based at the Obregon Research Station in the Yaqui Valley of northwest Mexico. In fields provided every year by the farmers of the state of Sonora, breeders like Karim Amar do their work. Oh, everything in here. We've got a, here we've got about between preliminary yield trials and elite yield trials. We've got about 2,500 uh, 2, lines and they're all resistant to leaf rust. It took six years to get to this stage. Here. To test for rust resistance, the team vacuums rust spores from known susceptible varieties. The spores are used to inoculate candidate wheats. Those the rust infects are rejected. The breeding process for wheat is a painstaking plant-by-plant -plant one. Target plants are first emasculated so they can't pollinate themselves. And then the pollen from the other parent is carefully introduced. This is called crossing, and when the plants mature, the ones that have desired characteristics are kept for the next round. And that means more than rust resistance. It means quality, too. And all of these lines, these 2,500 lines, have as good a gluten strength as the local check, or better. And all of them have also better yellow color. It's a yellow color of the grain is important because the industry wants yellow pasta. The new Durham wheat lines are also being screened for performance under drought. Soon, some will be ready to become part of national breeding programs in developing countries where Durham wheat is a major contributor to farm livelihoods.